Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to the Crypto Logic Podcast. My name is Mike. This is your co-host, John. And the goal on our channel is to create generational wealth through logic and understanding. So if that's something you can get behind, then definitely subscribe to the channel. Like the video if you find something helpful. With that being said, let's dive into the show. Oh, I got to sit up a little bit for this one, man, because this episode is going to be this episode is going to be a little long, but this episode is going to be super jam packed, man. Super jam packed. What do you think, John? You think it's going to be super jam packed? We got a lot of stuff we got to cover today, bro. A lot of stuff we got to cover. This is one of those episodes that you need you need to pay attention to. This is the one, I I just was get driving over here, driving over. Is my mic low? Sounds like it's low. No, it, it's okay. This, this episode is one of those episodes that, like, I think is going to be, and when we look back in history, is the catalyst from, from everything changed. Mm. Everything is going to change from this point. Not necessarily, like, today, tomorrow. Like, October 15, 2021 is the beginning of when we recognized the crypto space is about to change forever. The shift, huh? Forever. And I was, I sent a tweet out this morning, and I said... Everything that we every every person that's been in the crypto since like that was in, in it in 2012, 2013, 14, 15, 2016, 2017, was in it from 2018, was in it in 2019, was even in it in 2020. And basically the bear market years, 2018 to 2020, 2021. Mm-hmm. Everything from this point, from this point forward, going forward, is gonna be completely different to where a lot of people you would say in this crypto space that are in the crypto space today they always compare back to 2017 i don't know why they always do Mm -hmm. we kind of do it a little bit right right but mostly a lot of these people that the the main ones that do it um because we're new to crypto we came in 2021 the back end of january uh mid feb early feb right right a lot of people have been in it for three to four or five years Mm -hmm. they always always refer back to those times and I can name a bunch of people at the top of my head that do that. And they're like, oh, based on 2017, this happened. Based on 2018, be prepared, be prepared. And I've always been like, I just feel something different. I mean, even when I said around my rant like a few weeks, a week ago, mm-hmm. about how this bear market is going to be a little different. Right. And people are starting to catch on saying that there's blue chip, there's actually going to be blue chip cryptos that are actually going to su- succeed and thrive during the bear market. And then I, what I'm saying now is with, with the news that came out last night or yesterday, today, Everything is about to change to where you cannot literally look back at 2017, 2018, 2019 to, to see how how it's going to trend for the future of crypto. It's going to be a completely new lane that we've never seen. We have more eyes on crypto than ever before. Facts. We have more billionaires and millionaires interested in crypto than ever before. Yep. We have governments, governments, countries, countries, governments, actors musicians artists nfts we have the technology everything like is has their eyes and wants to wants to be involved crypto into their in, interwine crypto into their everyday lives now like whatever everything i just named they're looking at crypto and seeing how crypto can help them now right. that wasn't there in 2017 that wasn't there in 2018 2019 2020 2015 2016 people just mentioned it and talked about it right and you were a tin hat for sure I mean, the, you still kind of feel like a little bit. A but. little bit. But if you look at, the, if you look, just Google crypto. Google crypto, you'll see. If you could, I don't know if you could even pull up any article from 2017. Like, imagine you could pull up Google searches in 2017. I'm pretty sure there's an application or a website out there that can show you um, news results from 2017 only. Mm-hmm. I To the, now, it's tenfold. Yeah. The adoption of crypto is not here yet, but this, it's like a freaking ride up compared to where it was it's just look at a just think of a chart a chart of crypto being at 13 cents let's say in 2015 that's where crypto uh attention was 13 cents we're at like three dollars right now yeah. eventually we're gonna break past 10 in a couple years and then we're gonna bake past 50 and then we're gonna bake past 100 and then three four five hundred and then that's when crypto is just normal just like paying paying for uh paying gas with your debit card or credit card on your on without going inside the teller to give them your money Back then, you'd have <laughs> yeah. to go inside and give them cash. Like, okay, fifty dollars here for on number seven. You don't do that anymore. Most people, like you don't. Most people don't do that anymore. They just pay pay at the little pump. 
Yeah, exactly. People don't realize how much of a shift that is. There's no need for the only reason why that guy's in there is just in case your pump thing broke. He's not. He's not. <laughs> the, he's not there to help you anymore. Back then, he was the one that was in charge of giving you giving you your gas. Right. You know, people don't realize how how fast technology is going. We're at an age where technology is aging rampantly, rampantly innovating so fast, and the, with the debt ceiling being raised, with money being printed. The shift is coming, and Coach JV has been saying it for years now on his YouTube. The shift is coming. More eyes are on crypto than ever before. This time around, with these news, we're going to break down these this news that came out today. The crypto landscape and the trajectory of it is going to change forever, for the better, though. So everything that happened in the past, I'm not even going to think about it anymore. It's going to be completely different, and it's everyone has a fair game right now. It's a fair shot with for everybody right now that's in right now. The thing, the thing about this situation and, and currently where we're standing, I feel I'm, I feel a little uneasy, and I'm gonna tell you why. Because, like you said uh, in the beginning, that we can't technically look back and say, okay, this is what it did this time, so potentially it could do this again. We don't have that opportunity because now we have everyone talking about it eyes are on it if you go to google trends and you type in crypto you're gonna see the trend do, 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 and you're gonna see the line like skyrocketing <laughs> so it's it's a little uneasy i'm gonna be honest with you because you know with the bear market and everything like that and regulation coming and you know majority of these cryptos are gonna go away so you're really gonna have to like really know what you're talking about really do the research really know what you know fundamentals are are and you know which ones to get into or you potentially might be stuck holding a bag that will basically disappear so it's a little uneasy but I'm, I'm ready for the ride i'm ready i'm excited for it and uh you know i can't wait to uh yeah to that, move on that's that's something that's uh that's freaking a lot of people don't I think understand and especially people who are crypto influencers that have been in the game for a long time yeah they just they're they're I, i'm not naming anyone but i feel like they just have this they have this sense of oh i've been in it so long so i've seen it i've seen it all I'm like you're about to see some stuff you've never seen so you can't be coming in there that's why i said that was like my my intuition back then saying you think stuff is sweet you think stuff is gonna go the way oh i'm ready it's gonna happen like no nah, you're about to enter things and see things that you've never seen before and but but in 2018 this happened oh no elon musk accepted bitcoin again that destroyed your whole narrative of oh it's gonna crash again nope <laughs> it's not crashing it, you know what i mean yeah. a billionaire could just buy this crypto oh overlap ethereum now it's rank number two like right. you don't know what's gonna happen we're at that point where there's influences, not influencers. There's massive different types of influence on crypto. They're building digital currencies. The U.S. We got the Ripple uh, lawsuit that can cause a, no pun, ripple effect to the whole crypto space. Fact. You got the SEC. You got the CFTC in talking about. It. You got government, U.S. government politicians talking about how to regulate it. You got El Salvador using Bitcoin as tender. You got Brazil trying to do it. You got banks trying to incorporate crypto. You got Venezuela as well. All, every everything is like working like oh crypto's here crypto's here it's not it's not just gonna and just disappear even when it, the little mini bear market crypto's still gonna be fully getting ready to be adopted yeah we, we may have a crash yes but it's not gonna be what, what what people predict because of the history that we've seen it's not right. because of this interest it's because of something that's happened that they need people to keep their eyes off of it so they can continue building the infrastructure for the future and then that next bull run, that's the last one, I think. And that's that's it. So these cycles, people talking about cycles. I'm like, nah, you're just basing off of it. The history that, that we're five years ago, where we're at a point where time is completely different. Yeah, that's interesting, man. That's really interesting. We're, a different, we're in a different time now. It's a different it's a different time, you know. It it really is a different time, you know. And uh we we have to we have to adopt with it, you know, if, unless we want to get lost in the sauce. So um, let's actually just look at the market cap and see where we are today. I know Bitcoin hit 60K. Let me see if it's actually uh, still there right now. But overall, the crypto market cap is sitting at $2.44 trillion, up almost 2% on the Fire. day. Um, Dip a yep. Oh, 60K. Oh, there it is. 60K. 60K Bitcoin. Now, let's let's try and hold that, man. Bullish. Let's, you know what I'm saying? Because in reality, I've only seen Bitcoin drop from 60K to like 58, 59. I haven't seen it go to 57 or 56 break, or anything break, like that. So it might have broke support. That's what you're, I you was going to say. Yeah, you, you've been, we've been saying that. I mean, resistance. 60, I'm sorry. 60K is, is where it needs to break past and then keep going. All time high is 64. And what's yeah. interesting, I saw it. I don't know if we have it on here, but they said that 
any exchanges that has like if bitcoin's over 59k they're running out of um bitcoin for people to buy yeah i have that article yeah i'm gonna show you i'm gonna show you guys that um it's crazy so basically (laughs) basically what needs to happen now is we need to see if bitcoin is going to fake out or not you know since it seems like we broke um resistance not support resistance um we need to see if it's a fake out or not right and basically what a fake out means is it goes past resistance and then it comes back down and then it doesn't go back up past resistance so it's a it's a fake out but you know we're we're, we're gonna wait to see where it closes at and then we'll know um you know verbatim what's gonna happen with bitcoin you know um ethereum is almost at four thousand dollars guys it's literally just it's it's going up man everything i feel like i feel like this is the start and i made a tiktok about it i'm sure john's about to make a tiktok soon about it and it's just it's one of those things about this rally like really actually happening because you know when people were saying like the the influencers and things of that nature they were saying like october is the wave that's it's gonna happen in october and um you know like i said before i've been drinking the kool-aid like yeah it's gonna happen it's gonna happen it's gonna happen and now we're seeing bitcoin at sixty thousand it just seems like it's, it's gonna happen man you know what i'm saying and i'm i'm, I'm a little freaking out a little bit <laughs> because this potentially would be our first like bull market now we're in may yeah Bitcoin I, mean, 64, I mean we were there but like i don't know I, I, don't, I don't know why i feel like this one is different i just feel different with this one you know because if bitcoin bitcoin's gonna surpass 64 you know, might go to seventy, might go well, to eighty. All time high, yeah. But remember, I mean, when we were in May, Bitcoin never had passed fifty before. That's true. Then it passed fifty, fifty-five, sixty. Is like cool. I was always looking at Ethereum. I yeah, but really we, care about but we didn't, we didn't have invested what we have invested now. Oh, yeah. It's different. You know, looking at Bitcoin at sixty-four thousand back then, it's like, oh shit, you know, cool. But <laughs> now it's like we got hella bags. So when Bitcoin goes up and everything goes up. <laughs> balling you know what i'm saying so i don't know man it's uh it's it's pretty interesting to me uh cardano's actually up uh about one percent on the day so you know hopefully we'll see some price appreciation with cardano once you know bitcoin starts going parabolic um i would i would predict six seven bucks um at a time i would i would have said ten dollars um but i'm 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 leaning more towards seven eight range i don't know if we would uh we would hit ten for uh for cardano um xrp Hopefully the case ends. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna end this month or next month or <laughs> the next couple months. It's ending soon, but it's gonna end soon. You know, I don't. I don't know I, when. I don't. I'm not gonna predict and say, oh, it's gonna end tomorrow or next week yeah. or three months. Uh, like it's gonna end when it's gonna end. But when it ends, it's gonna rock it. I'm just saying. I I made like a TikTok yesterday. They found a video where Gary Gensler was in a meeting with a like a hall or something, and he <laughs> he was naming like all the cryptocurrency top three cryptocurrencies, and he said. And this lawsuit is about XRP, whether it's a security or a currency. This guy said, "We got the we got number three, uh, Ripple, the uh, Ripple, the currency." He called Ripple a currency. <laughs> Freaking funny. <laughs> I think he meant to say XRP, the currency. And basically, that video right there should should end the lawsuit. Damn. <laughs> because he's he called Ripple a currency. I mean, he had, that's literally what he said. But obviously, we know he means XRP is a currency. But that that lawsuit is about XRP being a security, not a currency. Right. So that's that's why it's so funny. XRP holders had a laugh with that one. I'm like, yeah, this guy got sick. this. This is funny stuff. Yeah. He just man. got caught calling it a currency. Like you just contradicted yourself in this lawsuit. Now you sell it. They might as well. I mean, they've been they XRP has been. I feel like has been whooping them ever since. Yeah. You know, ever since it started, there's just been news after news after news after news. And uh, I've always said, though, that the SEC doesn't want to look bad. And they're probably going to be like, hey, just Well, please. they want $1.4 billion. Yeah, that's what they want. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure, you know, Ripple XRP can handle that. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, but it's a lot of money. I mean, It's a lot, you know, but it's a slap on the wrist to where it's, it's potentially going to go. You know what I'm saying? But they think they could probably win. That's why. Yeah. I mean, I, as they should. You know, I, I'm, I'm not a proponent of losing. If you feel like you can, you win, go ahead. Take it to take it to the to the house. You know what I'm saying? 99 yard touchdown go ahead you know if they if they want to do that go ahead i'm 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 fine with it you know i'm fine with it uh solana's about to hit 160 dollars trying to get back uh back up to that 200 uh polka dot has seen some price appreciation during this week about almost 20 percent on the week man it's uh polka dot i told you guys polka dot is one to look at you know the pair chain auctions are still going on right now um if i'm not mistaken i think damn uh, was it like 20 bucks a few weeks ago uh no it's like in the 30 range 
I remember it being in the twenties. I don't know when though. I just remember seeing like 23, 24. I think it's called Kilt Finance, if I'm not mistaken. They just won a pair chain um, on Kusama, if I'm not. Mis- I think it's yeah. I think it's Kusama. So yeah, the pair chain auctions are, are still going on for Polkadot. So there's gonna be a lot coming out for Polkadot, guys. You're probably gonna see Polkadot kind of blow up. John's been saying it as well. So uh, definitely look out for Polkadot. Uh, Dogecoin's not doing anything. Uniswap's still doing good. Luna still consolidating um avalanche is consolidating when we should use when we first started talking about avalanche a- avalanche avalanche it was at 60 uh, 60 dollars but now it's uh it's been consolidating around you know 53 55 uh dollars so good for uh for avalanche I'm, I'm really looking into avalanche right now um you know they have avalanche rush and things of that nature for their DeFi stuff um but right now the the yields aren't as good on avalanche it's more so they're looking you're, if you want like yields you're probably looking at probably phantom or maybe even uh matic if you want to do uh, like yield farming and things of that nature uh chain link you know the interesting thing about chain link and i haven't really looked into it but apparently you can make some pretty good yields on it i heard about that yeah i don't i, don't, I haven't looked into chain link as far as the the currency at all but albert um, that's where alliance block is going to be i think alliance box is going to be chain link they partner with chain link yeah, I have a feeling Alliance Box is gonna be gonna be top, huh? Just man. like Chain Link. Interesting, interesting. All right, let's get into some news, man, because there's a lot we got to cover today, guys. A lot we got to cover today. You know, I'm we're gonna leave the timestamps down at the bottom, but honestly, this episode you might not even want to use them, man. Yeah, because this- you because we're gonna be going through so much information, and there's gonna be so many gems, bro. It, using the timestamps, you're gonna miss out. I'm just saying. I'm just yeah. saying. I think, yeah, and the podcasters that listen, I think they're going to be enjoyed. Yeah, enjoying they, this. exactly. <laughs> While you're Sh- working out, get that point. <laughs> Shout out to everyone listening on Apple to Podcasts, work. Google Podcasts, uh, Spotify. Spotify, any of them, man. Anchor. I, I appreciate all of you guys. We appreciate all of you guys. You guys have been doing an amazing job supporting us, and we really do appreciate while you, it. While you're sipping that coffee on the way to work or the office, wherever you're going. Mm-hmm. So the first one is some breaking news uh, for ripple xrp sabo, sabo. we had it we had it you know throw some xrp news in here so sob um is a is a a bank in um riyadh i believe yeah saudi arabia um and sob announced a partnership with mastercard and ripple so this article is not very long so i'm gonna go ahead and read it um so yeah if i mis- misspell any words or s- pronounce misspeak, something different misspeak. just john will correct me so <laughs> i can't see it from over there um so riyadh and its endeavors and consistent efforts to provide the best digital services to its customers and take advantage of the state-of-the-art technologies saab has developed international transfer services through its digital channels in partnerships with the financial technology companies mastercard and ripple Thus, the bank allows its customers to transfer funds instantly and securely to international beneficiaries, whether to a bank account, electronic wallets, or via cash delivery in over more than 30 international destinations. Now, Saab's customers can tra- transfer more than uh, they can transfer to more than 170 countries and use almost 38 different currencies, which is like freaking amazing. The, imp- the improvements also include developments of relations with corresponding banks to include delivery of remittance on the same day for the selective currencies and provide for remittance deposit services for beneficiaries for the U.S. corridor, the U.S. dollar corridor. Saab is one of the first banks to obtain approval of the Central Bank of Saudi Arabia with the framework and of the experimental um, sandbox. So if you guys know what sandbox is it's like a virtual metaverse um to provide the service of updating customers data electronically know your customer that's your kyc through digital channels without the need to visit a branch which is basically where we're headed now i mean we've done kyc you know you have to do kyc if you do any centralized exchanges so you don't even need to go into the bank anymore and Saab is is implementing that for their bank, which is like pretty dope. Yeah, and Ripple's gonna send their money, send your money fast. Exactly. Which uh, and then at the end of it, it says which has uh, con- contributed positively to enhancing the customer experience and currently re- representing sixty percent of the total customers updated for the target groups. Back in May of two thousand and nineteen, Ripple announced a new corridor 
in between Saudi Arabia and India. In 2018, Saudi Arabia's central bank has signed a deal with the U.S.-based Ripple to help banks in the kingdom settle payments using blockchain software as golf regulators begin to explore new forms of financial technology. Whew, okay, got 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 past all of that. Now, what do you, what is your takeaway from this uh, from this article, John? What do you what do you what are you thinking? What for, what first comes to mind for you? Mm, ripples, <laughs> ripples gonna blow up. <laughs> ripples gonna blow up. I, I mean, I think so too, man. It's just the lawsuits only. Ripple doesn't ripple. Ripple, it's all. I think it's all designed. Like the the lawsuits, all allowing ripple is something that's just not gonna get shut down. It's too powerful to get shut down. Right. The technology is already built. There's no need to create a new one. They have the patents and everything like that. There's nothing that you can do to stop Ripple other than, you know, just labeling it as security, which you're trying to do, but it, there's no way that it can be a security because it has utility. It's being used, it has a purpose. That XRP token has a purpose other than just getting price appreciation. Right. You don't just buy it and be like, oh, I'm going to hope it just goes to when $10. Ri and then Ripple can IPO. And then, then at that point, I, the shares of Ripple Company, those are securities. Or whatever you want to call them or investments sh uh, sh uh, sh stocks right it'll be shares, Stock shares. it'll be shares yeah. so rip i think this article is amazing because now it's like look ripple is continuing and continuing day in and day out just to get new partnerships new banks new corporations all using ripple and it's it's inevitable at that point where when, when lawsuit ends ripples is going to hit a point of no return and keep going ripple's going to do its thing ethereum's going to do its thing bitcoin's going to do its thing in their world like that's why the top 10 cryptos are the ones that are gonna in the next few years we'll see a new top ten. You'll see the why they're in the top ten. Right. Ripple's one. Ripple's been in the top ten for years now. Ethereum's been in the top ten for years now, and so as Bitcoin. Cardano's gonna be fine, and then what else? Uh, take out the stable coins, but what else? Is Binance gonna be there still? Probably. More than likely. Right. Yeah. More than likely. Yeah. What else is gonna be? Doge not shouldn't be there, but yeah. Quant will probably be there. VXV will probably be there. We don't know. Yeah, we don't know the future. But the top ten. When the top 10 finally the dust settles and you see the top 10 cryptos, you'll see why they're the top 10. Oh, yeah, these are freaking powerful. These are like the the Microsofts, the Googles, the Amazons. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shopify, PayPal, those type of companies, Tesla, those type of companies are like, yeah, there's a reason why they're they're elite, why the big boys invest in those companies first. Apple, Facebook. Yeah. There's a reason why they invested in those first, and those are blue chip. ATT, Verizon. <laughs> Yeah. You go on and on. There's a bunch of blue chip stocks that Coca-Cola that'll be there for decades. The thing that I really enjoy about uh, Ripple XRP and being a holder of it is with when articles come out like this, it shows that, you know, people are it, the use case of it is not it's like solidified in a sense. You know, like how some you will look at a cryptocurrency and you just have to believe in the future of it, that it will do exactly what it says it's going to do. But articles, when they come out like this, you know, with their use cases and it shows that ripple will be used to move payments around it just kind of solidifies it in my mind like okay i'm in the right spot you know what i'm saying i feel i feel safe uh which is uh you know pretty interesting with with crypto because you can't technically feel safe with crypto because it's you know it could go to zero tomorrow yep but um but no ripple ripple xrp that 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 particular cryptocurrency um really makes me feel safe i don't know maybe maybe that's just me but you guys let me know what you think. Now, moving on to some other news we have that's pretty crazy with uh, with Coinbase, man. Coinbase actually warns the U.S. risks of lagging behind over failure to regulate crypto. Coinbase is like, look, if you guys freaking keep lagging, keep, oh, maybe, da da da, da every other country is going to just, boop, pass you by, bro. Literally pass you by. Coinbase proposed to aim to develop blockchain-driven decentralized evolution of the internet. Additionally, the exchange also seeks to offer suggestions on the emergence of d uh, d distinctive cl uh, asset classes. So, guys, it's it's man, you can't we can't we can't lag behind, man. We really yeah. can't. That's that's what it's basically what that article is saying, saying. We can't lag behind. The it says Coinbase is like, hey, you're like stopping us from continuing to grow the space within the U.S. Do you not want the U.S. to be the top dog in crypto? Do not want it to be the place where people come and bring their their business ideas and bring their innovation and built and it comes from the U.S., which in a sense will make the U.S. more money. Like you guys are like stopping the the crypto space from growing without regulation, without trying to take it serious. You guys, are, 
they haven't been taking it serious for 10 years and now all of a sudden this year they're trying to cram it in and trying to get it fast because of the debt the debt ceiling is making it worse i mean not making it worse it's getting worse in the real world now they're like okay we gotta speed up this crypto process and then they're just doing things impulsively i feel like yeah and coinbase is like you guys they need to get their shit together and hurry up and get this thing popping like get it let's get it going i mean because in reality crypto is not going to slow down right and here, if you decide if you say that oh you know if you want to if you want to drag your feet well every other country is just going to be like all right guys come to us and people are gonna be like bro i'm coming i'm i'm not you know i'm i'm yeah. coming it says that the, the exchange further warns that the failure to regulate the sector appropriately could leave the u.s even further behind other jurisdictions the exchange maintains that failure to regulate the sector results in millions of exclusions from the financial system while acknowledging that most Americans are looking for alternatives to, tra to traditional finance. Coinbase points out that the current financial sector, which was drafted in the f current financial law sector laws, which have, were drafted in the 1930s, are outdated to keep up with the revolutionary crypto sector. And that's literally what's going on with this lawsuit. I think the lawsuit is going to change all that. All the laws that we created for our monetary system was created in the early 1900s, 1920s. Well, mostly after the... Um, to, to get a little bit of history like I, i'm really into history that's like one of my favorite subjects in school in high school so given the laws that we have now they all stem from after the great depression in the 1920s so like in the early 1900s late 1800s 1900s we didn't really have cars and everything there was no cars yet right we know that we had we had horse and carriages and then once the 1920 hits 1920s hit there was a great depression the, there was the the, the 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 recession everything collapsed and that's when in the 1930s hit with Roosevelt, that's when we started creating programs. We started creating social programs. We started creating, um, figuring out how to. We basically had companies built. Now there was. Now we went to war. We figured out how to monetize war, and then that's how our company. Whenever we need money, we go to war. Right. Right. That's like the conspiracy theory that everyone says. Whenever we need money, we go to war. War is the biggest place to make the most money for a country. And then we then they had the the the, the member in like Detroit was was popping because what they had all the uh, industry. Um, warehouses that were built cars that's where ford was created the detroit yep that's where detroit was was good then technology aged again and again and again we don't need people to, to manufacture cars anymore the machines do it so people lost jobs and there were so many things that happened going forward where the laws still haven't really changed these laws that we're currently living in now was stemmed from the early 1900s 19 that's it's completely different it's now crazy to think that we're actually still worrying about these outdated Laws. yeah these laws are they never changed it just like this you can go you can say that with anything you know i, I mean not to be political i mean, i was like we were talking about like, gun laws it's like okay this is back then when when you had a little musket it was, now nowadays <laughs> that was back then when the gun was like you you could shoot some someone could shoot you you could dodge it right whoa whoa because like so slow and then you had to like <laughs> clean it you like had to load those the old gun ass guns. They, yeah, that that's okay to have a gun carry that firearm around. You have a chance. Nowadays, you got you can hold on. You gotta have an AR, bro, and yeah. you can walk around. I'm not trying to fucking like you know make it all political or nothing. I don't care about that stuff. I'm just saying that's why the argument is for those people is that hey, there's there's gun laws that are outdated. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Whether or not you believe in guns, I don't care. I don't care. So I'm just using that as an example. There's so many different things that you can use that that we've made back in the early 1900s in our country that's completely has no correlation to today which is way different and that's what coinbase is saying Facts. it's like the laws that, that are here now are nothing that they, they, they won't adapt to crypto it just won't adapt they will make crypto like what crypto is so, so futuristic like what 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 is this <laughs> i like that what <laughs> checks and all that stuff like, Man, yesterday yesterday we talked about coinbase um getting us wait on the the nft wait list it surpasses a million john was saying that he's like a million and uh million and one or well, something like or that something. i'm far back but that, that's pretty dope care. man that's that's pretty dope um, moving on to some more Coinbase news, guys. Coinbase unveiled its digital Damn, asset policy proposal right to spark a conversation around comprehensive crypto regulation. Coinbase is Coinbase is like, hey, look, they're on it, man. Well, and they have to be. I commend them, though, you know, because the SEC tried to come at them. So they're like, look, bro, you guys are you trying to come at us, but you're not even doing half the stuff yeah. that you're supposed to be doing. So we're going to be putting out all of this stuff on Thursday. The cryptocurrency exchange Coinbase published a digital asset proposal, a document offering both a, juris, uh, a justification and a conceptual framework for the comprehensive regulation of digital assets in the United States. It's like States. a blueprint. 
basically. It's like a blueprint on how to how to uh, regulate this space. And Coinbase needs to do it. They're one of the they're like the first one of the first or the first crypto company that IPO right public that you can buy as a stock like you can buy shares of it. Yep. Which is crazy. Like they 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 have to be the the leading 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 man or woman whatever you want to say leading entity that that leads the space because they're on the other side. They're already on the other side of official officiality whatever that they, they, they has to be in a word. But they're you know what I'm saying? They're on the they're on the Wall Street side. Right. They have to help us the crypto side of crypto get taken in serious. They they're already in. It's like joining a frat you try to bring your friend into the frat party like hey i vouch for him like you're already in the frat party Hi, get your friend in to come to the party at least you know how the frat parties are like exactly like oh well we don't know you can't come in here <laughs> yeah but, hey i know him i know him jimmy hey like, you know what i mean like coinbase has to they're in they got in and they have to help the crypto space out so they got to be assertive and they have to do things like this this is good they created hey you're not going to create a framework we'll create a framework you read over it and see what you like, what you don't like, what we can work on. That's what, that's what, and remember, they said in the other article we've talked about, the SC doesn't even want to talk to them about it. Yeah. They just want to say, nope, you can't do that. I'm going to see you. Yeah. Nope, you can't do that. It's I'm going to see you too. It's time to get it's this thing rolling because. It's time to have these conversations, man. We just need to have a conversation. That's all, that, that's all the crypto space is asking for is a conversation. Just what we're doing right here. If the SEC decided to do that with different cryptocurrency companies, it, they would be all right the here. better all the wiser and it, it's also saying that this guy that wrote this article said coinbase is big enough to absorb the cost of an unclear regulatory environment the smaller firms retail consumers us and the united states position as a global technology that stand to benefit from forward-looking regulation of the digital asset space so coinbase is, is huge enough to absorb costs and 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 go through not knowing going through the unregular regulatory space Right. They can handle the losses. They can handle like you know getting sued. They can handle all that stuff. But it's time we need to help out the smaller companies, smaller exchanges, right? Smaller companies that want to use crypto. Us as retail investors. Facts. They need. We're gonna benefit the most out of it. I believe so. Yeah. Especially if you're super early. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna benefit the most out of it, and then obviously that's gonna the billionaires are already gonna benefit regardless. They, they're gonna benefit regardless. So that's why yeah. they, don't, they don't mention them. Billionaires, millionaires. They're, they already get to. They already. They. They. The, most of them invested in the Coinbase before it IPO. Anyway, they, that's the credit investor thing. They get to invest in all these companies before they, they launch. Right. Like like Robinhood, they IPO'd, but it's it's these people. We're ready to benefit from the forward looking regulation of the asset space. That's we're in that list. Retail consumers. We're in that list. Yeah. It's it's the the thing is that I like about Coinbase doing this, man. Is it it opens it opens the dialogue, right? If if you know some news article or some uh, news company sees this, you know they might they might run run it on air, and then you know there's no running from it. You know what I'm saying? Now we have to have that conversation because then it looks like you're being yeah. shady if you're not actually yeah. listening to what these people are saying. Like yep. they want regulation, they're not saying no. They're like speaking for us. Coinbase is like like representing us exactly inadvertently. And you I, know? I I really I really like that for Coinbase. So shout out to Coinbase, man. That's that's pretty dope. Cause they're you know? in, right? They're in with the, they're in there, they're in the party. They're, they, they you know, they're, they're gonna vouch for us. Yep. They're, I mean, they're, they're gonna help. I feel like you know Robinhood's I mean? gonna be next, but the only difference between Robinhood and Coinbase is Robinhood. You don't technically hold your crypto yet. That's until yeah, they that's, get their wallet. That's when they, yeah. So once Robinhood actually does that and and converts to where they're half, you know, what they always been doing. Yeah. The other half. All right, you crypto people. Now you guys can have your part of us. Exactly. And, to be honest, though, Robinhood will will be more designed for the non deep dive crypto person. I think the so. average, just the average crypto. That's oh, it's cute. Oh, I got a little Dogecoin. Oh, I got a little XRP. There, it's not gonna be for like the average, you know, the deep diving type of crypto. Like you know, like we 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 believe we are, and anyone who's watching this, we think whoever's watching this, we we continue consider you an expert. Facts. Right. That's our that's our goal here on this channel is to turn everybody into experts. So if you're watching us. You're on your way to become an expert if you're not on one already. So Max. you're not gonna be using Ramo. You, you don't care. <laughs> but this, these are for the people who are new. Like your friend, your friend that, that hasn't been in crypto, give them Ramo. Here, get let them get their feet with Robinhood. When they're ready, now we can talk about MetaMask. Now we can talk about you know Phantom Wallet. Now we can talk about you know staking, all that stuff. But right yeah, now, exactly. don't don't tell them about none of that stuff. It's gonna be wasting your time and stress you out because you gotta worry about your own stuff. Just give him Robin. That's what's what Robin is going to be for. It's I an think entry so point. too. It's a good entry point. I, I, yeah, 
That's a great point. Uh, I, I didn't look at it that way. But now that you say it, it, it really does make a lot of sense. It really does. But there's some bullish, your dad, get your bullish, dad on my <laughs> bullish news that came out last night. And John, literally, he's texted to me like eight times. Bro, do you understand? Do you understand? And I was like, damn, like this shit is crazy. So the SEC has said it will allow its first Bitcoin features ETF to be traded in the U.S. Guys, this is freaking huge. This is beautiful right there. So this is freaking huge. The U.S. regulator, the SEC, isn't likely to block the products from starting to trade next week. Next week. Guys. Do you guys understand? Whoever made it this far to the video, this is what we're. This is the catalyst right here. This is why Bitcoin's pumping. This is why. Yep. This facts. is the reason why. This is this is definitively the reason why. It has nothing to do with with the with with the market cycle. It has nothing to do with October timing compared to 2017 October. It blew up to have it. No, this is the reason why. Did, do you guys know the ramifications of this? This allows this product allows for venture capitalists, corporations, banks, banks that lend money out. If you're this this is for this is for rich people, right? Yeah, this off is for the, the top, big corporations. Off the top. This is for a millionaire, multi-millionaire. Millionaires. Yep. This is not for us, but it's good for us because it gives them, it solidifies that Bitcoin is here. And they've been wanting ETFs for years, for years, because this allows banks, corporations, venture capitalist firms, asset groups, mass managers, whatever. They can provide an ETF that includes Bitcoin and says, hey, if you want to invest in the Bitcoin, invest it through us into this ETF. So now... There's an average millionaire. Let's just say he's a real estate agent, or not real estate agent. He's a he's a real estate guy. Mm -hmm. He owns homes. He has a real, really has a portfolio. He never really invested in crypto. This guy is worth maybe 19 million, seven million, three million. His portfolio is worth that much, right? His, right. This guy has cash. Now it's easy. If, this guy wasn't gonna download a wallet and buy Bitcoin. wasn't gonna sign up on Coinbase and buy. It. We've been saying this for years. Now he can just go to his bank. He can go sign up for a venture capital uh, firm. And say, hey, I want to invest in the Bitcoin. Perfect. We just got the new ETF program uh, product. Here you go. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, uh, Bitcoin's here. So if you want to, how much you want to invest into it? Uh, you know, with Bitcoin, we got Bitcoin here. We got all the, we all, you know, what? This is the crazy part. They got Bitcoin there. So you, the mill, like this guy says, hey, I want to invest three point five million dollars. This is the perfect product. You want to get into crypto? This is the perfect product for you. We got ETF. Bitcoin's in here, number one. We got six companies in here that use Bitcoin. So Tesla's in here. We got uh, Square's in here. We got Microsoft. These all these companies also invest in Bitcoin. So you investing in the Bitcoin on top of investing in, into these companies that invest in the Bitcoin. As Bitcoin rises, what does that happen to their stocks? Their company rises. Yep, facts. Because they're investing in the Bitcoin themselves. So now it's like a domino effect of you investing in the Bitcoin and investing in the companies that also invest in the Bitcoin makes you more money. And yeah. you don't have to worry about putting money here, here, here. We do that for you because it's an ETF. It's all packaged up real nice with a little bow on it with your name on it. They put the $3.5 million, boom, ETF, boom. Now they got $3.5 million. Your $3.5 million is going to keep increasing in value because of that package. Yep. That's what's going to happen. The, uh, That's how easy it is. Eventually, it's going to be... <laughs> It's not just gonna be Bitcoin ETFs. They're gonna yes. have, they're gonna have packages, bro. Like this one is risky. <laughs> this one's not risky. This one's super risky, and it's just gonna. It's, that's, that's how, how it's it, gonna that's be. That's how bro. ETF works. And ETF is just like it allows an average person who's rich who doesn't really. And it, it makes because the intermediary does the investing for you. Right. So you just give them your money, and then they invest. In, and banks will provide it too. That's the thing. You go to meet your client, your uh, your your um, banker or whoever it is, like your personal banker. You will say, "Hey, I want." It. The bank will offer the ETF for Bitcoin, and you put your money there. They already have your money in the bank. They'll just move it over, and then you invest into Bitcoin, whatever they want to offer the ETF. They include Bitcoin, but they include you know what I'm saying. Everything, startups. It's legal. It's basically the SEC is just gonna basically allow uh, allow to be be able to see the amount of money you put in. And then be able to see how much money you make from that, be able to tax the money you make. That's all it is. Right. Exactly. I mean, if you're an got... average crypt, crypt, uh, rich person, you can't, you know, back then you wouldn't be able to do it. Now you can. It's easier for them. If you guys go back a couple of weeks, we did a, a, a video and I ended up messing up the audio with Kevin O'Leary. But Kevin O'Leary was basically saying, like, we need ETFs because there's no infrastructure for it. The big boys to come and play they're not gonna download wallets john was saying that way before we even watched that video he was like bro i don't there's no infrastructure for that you know what i'm saying and now with this coming out because 
Canada, um, I was watching a, a, a ETF. video with uh, Kevin O'Leary as well, but he was saying that they have ETFs already for Bitcoin. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? So it's not like, oh, it's going to be so hard for the U.S. to do it. It's already been doing it in Canada. So, you know what I'm right. saying? It's interesting, bro. It's, <laughs> Did you, do you have the tweet? You don't have the tweet? I do. Uh, the, the, the tweet I sent you? I mean, they, they, they quote it right here. The SEC tweeted out. I don't know if you, show, if you have it. You don't I have don't it. think I have the tweet. The SEC no. tweeted out saying, before investing in a fund, what is a fund? Money that you put somewhere. In a fund that holds Bitcoin futures contracts, make sure you carefully weigh the potential risk and benefits. They're saying, hey, you guys are good to go. That's how the SEC works. Hey, we already went over it. We know how we're going to make money off of it. Just be careful. There's Here risk. You go. Yeah. That's exactly what you say. It's safe. Come on. They literally just said, okay. It's like a teacher. You can go outside for 15 minute recess. It's okay. Just make sure you come back. Don't hurt anybody. Go ahead. Make sure you wear your sunblock. <laughs> yeah. Or you're on the beach. You're on the beach. Wear your sunscreen. You can yep. go. Like, you want to go with your uncle to the beach? Okay. Your mom or your mom or dad never let you go. Finally let you go. Fine, just make sure you want to just go ahead. I want you on by nine or whatever. If you're going to wear your sunscreen, you're going to get sunburned. You're going to have the best time of your life. That's what's going to happen. We're having the best time of our life at the beach. <laughs> now, the reason why we're so excited about this, guys, and not because it's Bitcoin. I mean, as you guys know, John doesn't really too much care for Bitcoin. Um, I'm not a I'm not a Bitcoin maxi either. But it's important. Though. I, I know Bitcoin that it's important. very important to the crypto space as it stands right now because of Bitcoin dominance and things of that nature. Now, in the future, it could possibly change. We're not debating that. But as of right now, this is huge because it could correlate to so many other cryptocurrencies once regulation actually happens and the settlement and all that is done. Then they're going to get ETS for all of those. You know what I'm saying? So it's going to it's going to just it's going to go crazy, man. But one one last thing before we go on. This is just the beginning. We I talked about it on the phone with you last night. This is just wait until they, wait until the money Tesla already made a billion dollars in profit, right? Yep. Just off of just holding, just holding, holding Bitcoin. Bitcoin. So that's that's what's gonna happen, right? People are gonna invest into Bitcoin and invest in a company like Tesla that holds Bitcoin, which increases their value anyway. I just said that earlier. Square doubled their money from 220 million to 420 million, right? MicroStrategy invested 3.5 billion. They're at 6.8 billion. They're all doubling their money. Wait until they see. Wait, so Bitcoin isn't the only one that that uh, can do this? <laughs> Ethereum too. What's Ethereum? They don't, they don't know anything about it. Ethereum. What's Ethereum? Oh my God! Yeah. And then then they start learning about market supply. They start learning about market cap. They start learning about uh, use case. It's they're gonna take. They're imagine the ETF for Ethereum. ETF for Ripple XRP. Exactly. ETF for Cardano. Exactly. ETF for Solana. ETF for Polkadot. It's they're gonna come and just snatch up all these cryptos that they like, and then, in a sense, if you're not investing in them now. It'll be too late because they're gonna tech it up. Do you see how Bitcoin's pumping already before ETFs even launch? It's supposed to launch next week. That's all. This is all speculation. Now wait until it actually gets you, the reason when why it actually happens. Yes, yeah, prices are gonna blow up. You, us, we're not gonna be able to get in unless we have to spend a lot of money. Fact. And then on the other end, we got the SEC coming after all the uh, securities and non-regulated cryptos. So now it's gonna create a, a is it a hedge or a squeeze? I guess it's a squeeze. It's like a squeeze in the middle. We as crypto investors have to make sure that we are in the right ones to, to and we're with we're last on and go on the other side, not the side of the SEC wiping out all the cryptos. Exactly. Because a lot of cryptos are gonna get wiped out, even ones that we thought were like blue chip, or even ones that we thought were safe. You uh, fundamental. Those will get wiped out too. Facts. So you you know that's the that's the thing that's gonna happen. And that, that's, that's, that was why I said I was a little afraid in the beginning. Yep. That was that this reason. You yep. know what I'm saying? It's, so be it, prepared. We keep your eyes open. Keep your ears open. I don't know, it sounds funny, but you know what I'm saying? Eyes and ears Just open. Keep your antennas up. You have to be you have to be very vigilant in the next few months, maybe year. A I mean, lot of things are gonna happen. We're gonna be we're gonna be right here helping you guys out either way. You know, I'm saying we 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 give you the good and the bad. We don't just we're not hype men. You know what I'm saying? So hey, if you haven't subscribed yeah. to the channel yet, bro, I just think I don't think subscribe. anyone on the channel is going deep like us. There's a lot of people that talk about it. They touch it. They say, oh, this is great news. Oh, Bitcoin's going up. And they start worrying about the price. Bitcoin's going up. What do you think of the hit on the K? We don't give a, I don't give a damn. It probably will. I don't give a damn. I'm worried about the future of crypto being around, how how deep it is around. Exactly. And how far, how how soon or how far away we are from where the crypto space is not going to be what it is. It's not going to be like, it's going to be just like a stock market. Yeah, it's going it's it's, to, it might go gonna, down 1%, No more 2%. gems. 
But yeah, no, no 100X's, yeah, 10X's, no none of that more. shit. They're not going to allow that. Yeah. The only gems that you're going to see are is a new company that's being created, and then they're going to create it, and then the Bitcoin, the billionaires are going to eat it up. You know who? You know what's interesting? Is when these comp when crypto is less volatile and regulated, yeah. You don't think that these cryptos are gonna come and, and talk to the billionaires that, that finally know what crypto is and ask them for funding and ask them for any like, hey. Oh, they do that now. And then when the crypto launches, it's gonna launch at like, right, five, like three hundred bucks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because they, the big boys already got in. I mean, I don't know if that's a security or there, ICO. There's I don't not. Know. There's not gonna. Uh, I think it's an ICO. Um, but they're not gonna have like a hundred billion tokens anymore. I don't think. Yeah. They, anything like nope. that. Nope. I would say like 10 billion and less, bro. And that's what's going to cause the price to stay bro, super high. I have a theory. Look at Kusama sitting at 300 bucks. I have happy. Oh, yeah. Happy, too. I have, I have a theory. What happy, if, dude. What if, I, you know, those TikToks where they guys, I have a theory. You know, like, I, I want to post, I have a theory that what if these cryptos that created so many tokens, right? They created so many of these tokens and they can burn them anytime. But right. they create like billion, 100 billion, 10 billion, 5 billion, legit ones, not rug pulls. Don't take out meme coins, take out rug pulls. Legit ones like VeChain and and um, Cardano. They have like 30 billion, 20 billion H bar. What if they created these tokens for people to buy in and at a cheap price? And it, because think about it, the amount of tokens correlates to the price of the, the token itself, right? So the, 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 the more tokens, the cheaper the price. Yeah. What yeah. if that was their purpose to make it so cheap so that they're getting money from us? Because back for the past five to 10 years, big corporate people weren't putting money into crypto. Right. They can't. Like their they hands are, are tied. Their they hands didn't, are tied. They, or they were scared. They're like, I don't know how, I'm not going to put a million dollars in my wallet, into my crypto wallet. Yeah. They were we, afraid. we put our hundreds, thousands, and then we make tens of thousands and hundreds of thousands, and, we keep, and then we, we made the money. We know that it's safe. Now we have no problem sending 50K to, to, to Cardano, on a, uh, um, you know what I'm saying? Uphold or whatever. Right, right. Or, or crack in. We have no problem. It's easy. It's cake. So what I think is that they make these tokens so, so many, like 30 billion to allow retail investors to go, oh, it's so cheap. It's 30 cents and put $500. In. And that, in a sense, is funding their, their company, their crypto company. Because mm, so how else were they gonna get money? How else were they, where else were they gonna get money? So they, they can. So later on, they could value like you know how like they need money to, to run though. It's a company. Yeah, that too. Damn, that's I'm interesting. I'm thinking that that's why all these cryptos create so many tokens, and then it comes from people like us who are crypto enthusiasts investing in it, and it's cheap enough because if they had a low supply of crypto, look at Quant, they wouldn't be able to make as much money anymore because it's so expensive. Yeah, the average the average person is yeah. not gonna be able to get because look, Quan has barrier to entry is too mm -hmm. high. Quan has twelve million tokens. As soon as people start figuring out about Quan, oh my god, so powerful! They started buying Quan, and look what happened to Quan with three hundred dollars and got stuck. <laughs> Quan's yeah. not gonna get to the next level until Adoption. the billionaires get in. Facts. Millionaires get in. Facts. We 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 capped it. We as rich investors, I think we capped it. We don't. We're not. People watching this, most of you guys need to get out of your head. Oh, Quant's at a billion dollar market cap. You don't think it's going to hit to 10 billion? Yeah. Is that coming from you? Exactly. Is that coming from us? Exactly. Real to, and I've, I've spoken to millionaires about this. I, he told, That's what he told me about Bitcoin. He said retail investors will never, ever, ever beat corporate money. Realtor money will never beat corporate money. Corporate it's money impossible. will always win and take over everything. Fact. Retail money will not win. And that's what we've been seeing for the past five, six, seven years. All these low token supplies is for us to provide funding for these cryptos. That's what I believe. This is a theory. And they made it cheap enough to where we can continually buy in. Like HBAR is so cheap. We can continue giving money to it. You can right. get your friends to get it. It's only 30 cents, bro. Come on, put 100 bucks in. <laughs> you know, you can tell your friend to quant $300. They're like, ah, what the? Yeah, exactly. And, and somebody doesn't know anything about crypto, but you get to tell them HBAR, you tell them the technology. 30 cents, shoot. Let me put 250 in. Exactly, exactly. That's true. I get this many tokens? The barrier to entry is smaller. Yeah, that's why I think that's why they create so many tokens. So they can mm. continue to get money from us retail investors. That's until until the corporate elites come in, you know what they're probably gonna end up doing? Burn a bunch of tokens. Damn. Burn a bunch of tokens. Price appreciation up the roof. Damn. Hey, what did Ethereum do? That's interesting. What it, what what was the purpose of EIP 1559? Burn. Burn. No more no more mining. Burn no all. more tokens. That's crazy, bro crazy theory right i mean i know we're not bitcoin maxis on this channel man but this next article with uh cynthia lumen she's like thank god for bitcoin oh my god thank yeah. god for bitcoin 
because she's like, look, Lumen said that one of the reasons she becomes so interested in non-digital uh, currencies like Bitcoin is because they're not issued by mm-hmm. governments and thus not beholden to the debts mm-hmm. that run up by the governments. Just printing money. Just, oh, Such just as the U.S. Money. <laughs> Such as the United States. I mean, we're the ones that print the most money. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we had an argument before air. We owe debt to China. Like, we do. I looked it up. We owe $1.1 trillion to China. And we owe five point six to ourselves just from 2020. Yeah. $5.6 trillion. We owe... We printed about six trillion dollars last year, and we owe that to ourselves. And we owe one trillion to China. And and then I looked it up more. Is the debt that we owe is based on, like the reason why we owe China debt is for the Treasury bonds. Right. So that I need to do a little more research on, but it's called Treasury bonds. So other than none, nonetheless, our country is based off of everything we remove our money backing from gold. Yep. Because if you're backed by gold, you're backed by the supply of gold that the country owns. So if you own a, trillion tons of gold that's how much money you'll the amount of your dollars worth based off of how much gold that you have it's it correlates to you buying um the time token and you getting a dollar in time your value is not worth a dollar anymore it's worth a whatever time's worth so a right. dollar to seven thousand dollars it's pretty cheap it's low right you need you know you need more of it to exactly make a lot of money it's it's kind of tricky to think about but in my head it makes sense it's weird but like <laughs> the, way, the way that the u.s debt is going is that we print money out ever since we got removed from the gold standard we print money which means that the money is just just fake it's just foam this just comes out of thin air and it's based by our dollar and, oh it's a hundred dollars it's hundred dollars because of this, we believe it's a hundred dollars we have so much fake money that's being printed out and how that gets paid is it's a debt is creating a negative so how that's paid is the taxpayers so we the cut the cut the government taxes us right. we pay for food Pay for gas. You pay for anything. Everything's taxed. Sales tax. Everything is taxed. Even your your income. Everything is taxed. Right. Tax. Yep. So the taxes is supposed to pay off the debt of the money that we're printing. And the thing that's crazy is that the tax is also supposed to be the money that's funding these programs. So we're supposed to be funding Social Security, funding um medic medical Medicare, funding all this stuff, all these unions, programs that the government uh, infrastructure, build, rebuilding roads. Yep. construction for the company i mean your, your 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 city the tax money pays for that stuff and then when we don't have when we don't have enough money from the taxpayers to pay that stuff every year they either increase the tax or they print more money but the thing that's interesting was that in since the pandemic they were able to print so much more money and use it as a scapegoat oh we need money for this along with the pandemic but we need money for infrastructure we need money for this program we need money for that program. It's, it's the perfect opportunity to print money. They printed more money this last year than in, in like the last 10 years in one year. It's crazy. So that's why now we're looking at like, oh man, look at all this fake money that's in circulation right now. The because inflation. That's just free money that came out. Like that goes to the company and that company's supposed to send it right back to us, but it, it's not happening. People aren't even getting jobs anymore. So how are they taxing those people? If you're not getting a job, if you're not working, most people aren't working. If they're expecting a million people to be working, they're expecting, like, let's say, let's just throw it around. Right it. Okay, we expect a million new jobs this month. That means that a million jobs, these people make $10 million. Now we should be we should be getting $3.4 million from here. And right. it comes in, only 250,000 people got jobs. Oh, damn, we only got $800,000. Where's the where's other? Got to gotta print some more money. Yeah, where's that $2.5 million that we're expecting coming from? Yep. Uh-oh. Got to print more money. It's supposed to pay off this debt. That's like you owing a me owing a debt to Mike a hundred dollars, and in my head, oh Friday I'm gonna hundred dollars, but then on Friday I only get seventy dollars. Uh oh, where's that thirty dollars at? Got to borrow for somebody else. <laughs> yeah, now you're in more debt. That's what's happening. <laughs> exactly. That's what's happening in the U.S. And then they realize it, like, oh, well, let's get the crypto. Let's go to digital currency. You can't, you can't print more Bitcoin. Exactly. You can't print. You know what I mean? You can't inflate digital currencies, and that's what they're starting to realize. You know, she she even she was even quoted saying, time and time again, presidents of both parties have run up the debt irresponsibly with no plans to address it so thank god for bitcoin and another non-fiat currency that transcends the irresponsibility of the government including our own guys what did michael saylor say no he just tweeted out oh thank god yeah for bitcoin. he just tweeted the what do video you think out. about that i, I that's mean the de- see that little debt example that's basically what we're doing i think it's a good thing man honestly just- that that we're moving towards digital currency because you can't manipulate it. Well, you can manipulate it, but you can't like inflate it. People that are sitting there holding, you know, have savings accounts just holding the fiat. 
I'm like, dude, you're, you're technically losing yeah, money to inflation. Money. You, why are you why are you holding something that they're printing? If you're if you're able to get free money, quote unquote, from the government or whatever it is, use that. Let that money it, make it, you money. It, why are you holding it? This is interesting because I figured when they started this process, this is remember this 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 monetary system that we created was years ago so when we got out of the gold standard it was 1971 that's 30 40 50 years ago right it's a long time 50 years 50 years ago and you expect us to be self-sustaining they had a vision of okay cool we print money when we need to but we're gonna print money and you know who's gonna pay back the taxpayers pay back they didn't expect the taxpayers, all these loopholes and all this stuff, the tax money not to be what they thought. They thought that they were going to make more tax money to pay back the deficit of the money that they print. As long as, let's say if they print a million dollars a day, as long as the tax money that comes in is over a million dollars, you're never going to go, you're never going to go red. Right. That, that It's just like a flow of water. It's self-sustaining. So we print a million dollars, but we get um, 1.5 million from taxes. It pays that $1 million and we're accessing over $500,000. As long as that happens, we're good. And we're, we're making money on top of that. So the company eventually, eventually, the the government will have reserves, right? And they don't need to. And then and once the reserve gets put to the point where we, oh, we don't need to print money anymore. We just use the reserves, and then that money's gonna flow right back into us. And now it's self-sustaining. That's I feel like that's what they envisioned, but that didn't happen. They no. got money hungry. We have a new government. We have a new left left politician government. Uh, Democrat, Republican, Democrat, Republican. They have different ideologies. That that thought process works maybe in a country like Russia or China. Because you 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 stay vigilant. We have new new presidents come in, new ideas, new you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but what people fail to realize about that is the rich people don't pay taxes. Yeah, but either way, either way, they expected that hey, as long as we get tax money that that covers the amount of money that we're printing, we're good, and we can make money on top of that, and then we're good. That didn't happen because yeah. new presidents, new things come in, they make new programs, uh, natural disasters, wars, all this stuff happening. Loopholes. We'll print more money. Print more money. Print more money, and then. The debt couldn't pay it off, and we just kept getting debt. And then they realized, oh, let's just, all right, we're breaking, we're breaking even. Uh, oh, damn, what's really happening? They look around, like, oh, nothing's happening. All right, let's just keep printing money. And then whatever, they don't care, right? Because the president's gonna leave you after four, or eight years, and then not his problem anymore. Someone exactly. else's problem. Exactly. Exactly. That's the issue. So then now, um, how I think of a digital currency is gonna work, it's actually gonna be easier to self-sustain. Why? Because it's digital. So when people have cash, you can hoard your cash. Yep. When it's digital, you need to move your money around. You got to move it to the exchange, right? So let's say like they, they created a stable coin, the, the government does, and the, this concept will work. They 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 create out of it thin air. Poof, we're going to create a billion dollars worth of this digital coin. It's activated. It's a billion dollars of the digital coin. And they send it out. That's when they send it out to companies and allow it to be used. And then when people transfer their money into the stable coin, they tax that. Boom, that's money for, for the reserve for, for the digital government Fed coin. Right. And then when people transact back and forth, which is going to happen more millions fees. a day, more fees. That's more money. That's, that the, the, the reserves are going to build for this digital coin that they're building, and it's easy to track. It's easier to acquire. It's easier to take it because you're going to be using it. People are going to be using it every day, in and out, in and out. You can't do that to cash, but you can do that to digital currency. They can charge 0. 0.0001 cent every time you use it. You wouldn't even notice it. Yeah. But you would use a 0. 0.0001 transaction fee of using this digital currency. They get that. So do you think that's why USDT is so high? Yeah, USDT started off just like that. If you look up the history of USDT, USDT said that, oh yeah, we have 50, like I don't know how much the number was, but it was like, let's say it's $50 billion worth of, that's the USDT is backed by $50 billion in cash. Mm. It never was, there was nothing there. So people believed that it was. And then people started using USDT. Then they started getting money from the fees and people like using it. And then it started storing and storing. So when you hold your money in USDT, they get that money digitally. Mm. So now, it created it, it, it happened so good it, it, it they got lucky it happened to where eventually they got to the point where like okay we actually have the money now right and then they had to pay whatever they had to pay that's why they're getting sued they got slapped with a 41 million dollar uh fee they they based it off of hope first and then it worked <laughs> out people started using it thinking that their money was actually back bad, by something which is back by nothing eventually they started accumulating enough money to where like okay we actually have money back now Damn. You made enough money to back it now. So they were faking it till you make exactly. it. Exactly. Damn, they were. Yeah, they that's were literally it. Instagram influencer type. That's literally what you look it up. Damn. That's exactly what happened with USC. That's why they're getting sued. But 
now it's like, oh shoot, it actually worked it's for you too, guys. Now it's too big. Yeah, it actually you know, works for you guys. It's too freaking big. Just pay big, us some man. fines, we're good to go. That's the thing. Mm. That's, that's, <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy, that's, right? It's pretty crazy, man. A lot of people don't know that. It's pretty crazy. This next article, guys. This next article says Bitcoin gets a green light for price discovery with almost no supply on exchanges above 59,000. Yep. Resistance is thinner than ever. That's crazy, you know, bro. Dude, they're, they're going to blow up. Bitcoin's going to break past. You know, Bitcoin's going to break past. I don't, I, don't, I don't like giving predictions on where I can see tokens going because, you know, it never ends where you say it's going to. But I don't know, man. Hundred At a point, I probably wouldn't have said 100,000 Bitcoin. Right but shit, it looks like it right might, there. bro. Which one right here where it says now? Yeah. Okay, now look, a look at an exchange condition shows just how easy Bitcoin slash USD should jump into uncharted territory beyond 64,500. So it almost no supply. Yeah, that's when what that's is crazy. what happens when supply is low, prices go high, skyrocket. There's bro. not enough to people to buy. Supply prices and demand. are gonna go crazy. Dude, that's gonna be crazy. Uh -oh. What do you think about what do you think about micro strategies probably flooding the market? <laughs> Bears are gonna be wiped out. They are if they're Shout shorting out to Quant it. Mommy. She said she tweeted out this is gonna be a cuss word. She said, You bears are fucked. <laughs> <laughs> what she said low key they are though <laughs> you know they are i mean if rick man it's it's crazy guys look that, look 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 so shout out crypto mason he tweeted uh oh tether was slapped with a 41 million dollar fine by fct cftc look what tether says tether's like oh no no problem just a moment please pretty much <laughs> <laughs> You know, honestly, guys, that's what they did. That's why we said this episode, bro, is going to be so like you need to tune into this episode. Let me send bro, this to you. We literally went like deep dive, just crazy, just having conversations that I feel like nobody is having right now. And not just because it's Bitcoin or anything like that, but just because we're nobody's having these conversations. Nobody's having these conversations. <laughs> It's crazy. So uh, for those of you who are listening uh, in on the podcast, we're showing the, a picture of the uh, the money printer that John was just talking about. So uh, Crypto Mason, shout out to him. He said, oh, Tether got Tether USDT slapped with a $40 million lawsuit fined by the FTC, F CFTC, CF, CFTC, commodities, C, commodities um, yeah. exchange. He said, interesting. And then the and then Tether was like, no, somebody oh, put that. OK, no problem. Just a moment, please. They just started printing cash. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> that's funny man mm. well i mean since we're already on a tweet we might as well move into the perfect tweets of the day. perfect timing right let's move on to the first tweet you know we got to talk about vxv man because vxv has been down in the dumps a little bit lately it's been retracing and people have been you know oh vxv uh. but what people don't realize about crypto is what goes up must come down i say this shit all the time you guys are going to start to see it what goes up must come down it doesn't just go up forever so shout out to Blue Chip Buddha VXV Crypto Buddha eighty nine. He says, "Don't sweat it. VXV is going to hundred dollars." Yes, man. I mean, we found this. Uh, I'm not sure. It was in our Discord. Someone in their Discord found it, but it was market cap of, and it gives you a a realization on where the price could be yeah. if it is at whatever crypto's market cap you want to compare it to. You know what I'm saying? So, do I have market cap of up here? Yeah, it's on the left. Uh, do that one. This one. Yeah. Here we go. So Dude. last time we did Flow and Dogecoin, and Flow had the 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 market cap of Dogecoin. This is the price it would be. Four hundred thirty-six dollars for the, our listeners. Go to go to VXV and just do. Um, Let's go. Do you think I, I love using Uniswap because do you think Vector Space is gonna be more powerful than Uniswap? Um, once it gets retail adoption, mm -hmm. I mean, it, uh, full adoption, yeah, theoretically. So it's you know? okay to put as Uniswap, right? Yeah. Why I love using Uniswap because it's just swap. It's, all, it's speculation anyway. Uniswap so. is just a swap. You know what I mean? Uniswap. Come on, baby. Where you at? There we go. Boom. 355 bucks. Yep. Right here. Now would put that would put Vector Space at a $13 billion market cap. So, you know, if you really want to know what a price could be, potentially could be, if it hits a market cap of some crypto in the top 100 that has maybe a billion, once it gets to a billion market cap, all you need to go to to go to is market cap of Dot com. We're not affiliated with them. We don't get any money from them, anything like that. It's just a really cool resource that you guys could use. We'll leave it in the description down below if you <coughs> want to use it. But it's market cap of of.com. And then you just type in whatever one you like. It's simple. It's simple. Moving on to the next tweet. Uh, shout out to, is it seldom? The seldom one? One seldom, yeah. One seldom. One seldom. Shout out to you, fam. 
He said, everyone forgets we're making the Latin digital dollar. Talking about quant. As well. Cause, because because yeah, We didn't talk about this yesterday. So VXV has been down lately. Everyone's freaking out. Quant has been down for the past week. Everyone's freaking out. And then on top of it, yesterday we were supposed to talk about the Latin, Latin digital dollar and, you know, all of that. And we so the, we missed it. The, the Digital, digital Power, Power Foundation, Foundation and all of that. The, and we, we, we totally dropped the bag on that one. But we ain't dropping the bag again, you know? The Digital Pound Foundation was huge news yesterday, and we missed it on our YouTube channel. But John did talk about it on our TikTok, so that's why you have to follow us on every social platform, man, because we're giving value everywhere. You know, we may not talk about it here, but we're going to talk about it somewhere, you know? So it's, 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 it's pretty interesting. A lot of people fail to forget, like, this is really big news. The Digital Pound Foundation... When it launched before, when we heard about it, it was more like, oh, it was maybe, speculation. Maybe it might happen. Maybe it won't. It was it's solidified now. It was it was like a rumor. It was um, I remember watching a video and uh, the Crypto Mason video, video and he said there's some like news article that no one published that you found on a website or something. And it, it says something about a digital power foundation. And it said that oh, ripples on this board, electroniums on this board and quants on this board. It was weird. They were like, huh, they're all working together. Huh? And we were saying a bunch of times quant. Is gonna work with a lot of these cryptos that's what they're designed to do and quan is building a digital dollar for latin america people forgot about that but that's that's the first thing that they acknowledge and then now it officially came out that the digital power foundation launched officially which includes electronium and xrp ripple xrp so they're gonna build their goal is to build a uk united kingdom cbdc so yep. quant is going to be involved in building that xrp is going to be helping build that and then so is electronium and any and any other company that's inside the uh that the digital fine uh, right here at the bottom yep. guys electronium avalanche Quant. billion group cgi group accenture they're all going to help build the digital for the uk so that's already that's huge news that's the digital we were just talking about it's going to be built by these companies and we've been saying this for four months three months what companies are you going to invest in that's going to build the future of the world right and look there you go right there avalanche accenture is coming off building group cgi group electronium quant ripple They're electronium doing is still super cheap right now yep quant is, supply, is a little barrier to entry and then xrp is at a dollar you yep. know and you, then, then you still have a chance to to to, to get in not and financial then, advice and then we still got the latin american dollar and i said and then in the TikTok yesterday i was like what hap what do you think is going to happen when the u.s announces something like this we're building it they finally say we're building digital dollar we're going to use these companies to do it when they realize that it's going to, how hard it is to build on their own. They're going to say, all right, let's just use what work, what's, what's already there. Exactly. The United States loves to take ideas from other countries and then just be like, oh, we're going to make it a little bit better. So technically we didn't steal it. You know what I'm saying? We didn't steal it. We just innovated. You know what I'm saying? We made it better. So I, I can see I can see uh, the U.S. kind of following suit with it because it's already it's, it's going to be done. It's it's proof right here. It's going to be done. At first, it was speculation. Nobody knew, yep. but now it's it's legit, bro. It's 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 literally legit. This is the last motivational tweet right here. I love this tweet. Now, this tweet right here, I'm gonna let you go ahead and read that one, John, because you found it. Go ahead, man. That was from Crypto Nagato. He posted some fire stuff. So you guys need to follow him on Twitter. It says the cowards never started, and the weak died along the way. That leaves us, ladies and gentlemen. We are about to reap all the awards. Be proud of yourself. What does that mean for you? So when I first read this, right, I, I didn't understand it. And then I had to get some context. I was like, man, the cowards never started. What the heck did that mean? And then I started to think about it. I was like, the cowards never started. And I guess now I don't know this to be true as the context of it. But from my understanding is he's speaking as the cowards, as the people that didn't get into crypto, didn't believe into it. You know what I'm saying? They're just like, ah, nah, maybe later on I'll, I'll think about it. And then the weak died along the way, which to me sounds like paper hands. You know, the paper hands was like, so oh, for a loss, I'm out, dude. Uh, VXV went up to fifteen dollars. I bought at fifteen dollars. It dropped all the way down to nine. <laughs> I'm out of here. I bought at fifteen. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Too many losses. Too much. I'm losing too much money. I'm out. The week died along the way. Mm -hmm. That leaves us. Everyone who's watching this video to this point right now, this is us, ladies and gentlemen. Whether you're man, female, whatever, whatever, that leaves us. Be proud of yourself because we're gonna reap all the benefits. That's just what it is. That that's what it meant to me. Yeah, and I, that's that's literally I 100% agree. And that's why Colonel Nagato has been around for a while. I, he tweeted this 2:57 a.m. 
Pacific Standard Time. That's when the, uh, a lot of the news, like a couple of hours after the news had broke about the Bitcoin ETF. Mm-hmm. I feel like who people who are into crypto, whether you're in it for three months, four months, and you actually do the research and you actually fall in love with the space, and you know, you just he just he just knows. It's like how we started this show off. We just know what's coming. Right. Right. There's only the people that think about the ones that think about things are going to go the same way are the ones that are like maxis, the ones that have their own little paradigm. Like they just, they just, they put up a front. It's a front in my opinion. It's like, Oh, just, it's just to sound credible. And they use that as a source of their, their speaking of their, intelligence. Their, no. Yeah. And their assumptions, mm. us, people can look at us. You guys are just talking about nothing. Like you guys just, and I'm like, yeah, we said that from the beginning. This is all, this is all personal um opinion none of this is fact and i feel like a lot of people they base off what they say and and use the past to validate their statement we never have done that right we just speak off hey this is wrong we i'm getting wrong we're wrong but hey i don't think we've been wrong at all really because we kind of it's logical that's what we call ourselves crypto logic. logic we think logically right we don't think based off of oh this happened in 2018 this might happen again this around this time like, no 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 this is based off the news that we do the research that we do the, the forces that be the nature of, of everything surrounding the crypto space and i think this guy he just knew this tweet for some reason resonated with me i'm like just read it you know what i'm saying like the way he tweeted this right at this time moment in time yeah it gives to me this like yeah i felt this same way and him tweeting this he literally says yup it's about that point where people are gonna realize i didn't get into crypto i fucked up facts this, this, and you were in it congratulations give yourself you a, give yourself a round of applause you went through all the bs whether you've been in for five years ten years six months three months you went through rug pulls you probably been through rug pulls but you never quit you got you got rugged oh, I, wanna, I don't trust crypto you didn't the ones that got rugged and still like looking for other rug pulls they're gonna get hurt because the ruffles are gone they were only in it for the money anyway. They were only in it for the, the chase of, of 100x, 1,000x. When that's done, what are they going to do? Exactly. They're going to leave. I mean? They're going to leave. So the people who are got rugged but say, you know what? I'm tired of getting rugged. I want to invest in real fundamentals. I want to invest in real crypto. Those people are going to be fine. The people who have always been in their fundamentals in the beginning are going to be fine. People who respect the technology, respect the space are going to be fine. People who do the research, people who are in NFTs. Yep. I mean, some NFTs are, are rugs, but Yeah, yeah. But you, people you that actually do their due diligence and try and... You know, some people get rugged. They don't even know they're in a rug. Right. You know, I, it's not like I, I want to be rugged. You know what I mean? Like, no, nobody wants to get rugged. <laughs> it but, happens. But the thing is about being rugged, though, like if you get rugged, I feel like there's not even people talking about the, how they got rugged and how we can change that yeah. that narrative. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's one company. I, Who's I, gonna do it for us? The government. If we don't change it, the government doesn't change it. Exactly. But I, I believe there's a company called I think it's called Rug Rug Doc rug doctor or something like that well basically what they do is they they audit all of these these uh different farms like if you're going to do yield farming and stuff they audit all of them to let you know okay this one's a rug this one's not this one's safe this one's not and i feel like we need that in the crypto space even in the nft space they don't there's there's no channel no place to go to have these conversations you know there's people that that put hundreds of thousands of dollars or even their check their 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 rent check in the, these cryptos and then they lose it and then they have no avenues to talk to anyone about it you know it's just it's just done you got yeah. rugged and that's it you know so i feel like our channel is one of those places where you can come and just have these tough conversations and just in my opinion you know what i'm saying that's just what i think don't you think when when in like think like three to five years from now when crypto is actually like adopted and we're probably everyone that's watching this is already rich and we're already you know like manifestation right and how valuable you will be to somebody that wants to get in crypto when it's regulated that's when a lot of people are gonna actually want to get in there's still people now that, that won't get in even the news where they watch this whole video and explain that if you you need to get in crypto now you need to get in but at this point people are tired i don't even want to tell you you want to get in you got to get on your own this point in time this is like you're almost at the point where it's almost too late and then you're gonna have a bear market hope like we don't know though right. if there is a bear market that's pretty much the last chance but most likely it's going to be for people that do their research and understand the game like if you go into crypto during the bear market and you don't know anything about crypto it's gonna be hard for you you're gonna, you're not, it's gonna be you're hard gonna, you're gonna freak for you. out because you're gonna be it's gonna be hard for you what if what if the ones you did all this research yeah. on just but that's why i'm disappear. saying in when when the, the second that last bull run i believe comes back around 
um you being a veteran in this space and you i'm speaking to the viewers and listeners you will be have so much information for the person that wants to get in just like a stock market just imagine i remember i started learning about stocks during the early year pandemic and started investing just started investing in stocks just to try it out and i had people hitting me up how do you do it bro how did what did you invest in what did, what do you look for they don't know anything and then they don't know what what a um um Oh, stop loss and all that stuff. There's like oh, I can't even think of terms. I'm, I've been so far out of the stock market now, like I don't even know. Yeah. But you know, there's there was terms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I didn't, a lot of people didn't know what. Uh, come on, I'm on a, I don't want to like waste time thinking about it. It's a brain fart in my head, <laughs> buffering. Uh, <laughs> but but you guys get what I'm saying. There's like terms like terminology, options, options, options trading, option trading, trading. Um, there's like so many things like index uh, trading. Yeah, and, and 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 buying and selling and and then um. And the amount of shares and how they didn't even know how to profit that they didn't calculate that profits they don't know how to do any profit of that loss stuff. statements and profit stuff. loss they don't understand how to invest so just think about how crypto in the next five years how many people want to get into crypto and if you know in crypto you understand market supply you understand market cap yeah. right how does that stop loss you are, yeah you understand the exchanges you understand how to navigate through crypto what what the price means what what the what the token does tokenomics you understand like when what we mean when, when something's burned like you understand all the words tokenomics is even a word where you're gonna be like what the hell is a tokenomics you know what i'm saying tokenomics you got resistance you got support you got yeah descending triangles wedges you know consolidation trending sideways yeah. there's so many acronyms if you just now Staking, are not getting in yield. you're gonna be like what the f what is going on just this is the last thing I'm saying. It's just in a few years when everything's normal, you will be valuable. You can start your own YouTube channel. You can start a business. Just like how a tax person knows how to do taxes, starts a little office down the street and does taxes for people. You can be someone that teaches people how to uh, purchase crypto, how to navigate through crypto. There's a lot of people that do that with stock market, how to make money off options, how to do all that stuff. Yep. Index, Forex, traders. All that, that will be something that comes up. Thanks. That will be something that's needed. And crypto is just, it we're literally at the tip of the iceberg literally the tip tip of of everything and it's almost too late which is crazy yeah it's pretty interesting so what well, that's a perfect relay to uh let's find out what what the market's doing for the uh market gainers and losers go ahead and oh, oh look 61. at 61 <laughs> <laughs> bitcoin's at 61 damn well, let's see who's at the top spot lcx lcx is at the top spot again sitting at 19 percent on the day Holy cow, XYO is pulling up there. Almost Morpheus is back. Let's 50% go. And on a week, man. Morpheus is back up to four, $4. You know, that's been trending a little sideways lately. 420. Under, Shout yeah. out to it's all my, funny. my smokers out there. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's been trending under $4. But now it's above four dollars at four dollars and twenty cents. So shout out to Morpheus. Uh, Bitcoin, we spoke about Le sitting Bitcoin. at $61,000. Let's see. I guess she got her Ben Gay. I guess so. <laughs> if oh, you guys remember what we're talking about the past episode. Oh, she's power walking now. She power walking. She got the little weight, the five, 2.5 pound weight, and she's with the little headband. I think she got the Bengay and she got the shot. You know, sometimes they get the shot where it gives them power. Keep up now. Keep up now, dude. Keep up. <laughs> Vector Space is climbing back up, man. I can see we're going to hit $10 again relatively soon. Uh, with vector space the thing is about vector space guys um is for one all the influencers that talk about vector space we don't know the future right we know the tokenomics <laughs> we understand what vector space could do but at the end of the day it's the market that dictates it you know what i'm saying we're gonna have what goes up must come down it's just that simple we got people calling it a rug you got people calling it a rug you got people you know freaking out because they bought yeah. the top yeah the u.s is gonna beg this company to come work work with them come station in the u.s if it's a rug yeah 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 it's a rug the, the u.s is, is begging this company please come to the u.s and work work here nasa nasa microsoft it's a rug, huh? All these companies are going to be using vector space AI. That's what I don't like about people that, that have a mentality. Something crashes, all of a sudden it's a rug. No, but the only people that have that mentality are people that bought in on hype, not people that know yeah. the utility of what it does. Yeah. If you if you go on Twitter right now, bro, and you type in VXV, you will feel left out if you don't have any VXV. You will be like, dude, I gotta get it. I gotta get it. I gotta get it. And they bought in at. 15 cents a uh, 15 cents 15 dollars oh my gosh dude vector space at 15 cents oh god that, that would be actually something that i would turn into a maxi if i had see now i understand why bitcoin maxes imagine if you had 
ten thousand vector spaces at fifteen cents, I would probably be a maxi. I'd be like, I don't need any other crypto. Facts. Why would I need any other crypto? You wouldn't. Now I see. Now I'm sorry, you Bitcoin maxis. Now I understand <laughs> why you guys love Bitcoin so much. He's finally started. He's I, I realize it now. I just right epiphany like oh yeah if i had ten thousand, if i had ten thousand vxv v and it was only 15 cents i would probably be like i don't need any other crypto like wouldn't you yeah I if mean, you had like if you had like fifty thousand quant a hundred thousand quant yeah 20 quant 37 quant i would quant, i would be a maxi too at two dollars i would be a maxi too like why would i need anything else exactly but I yeah go, going back to vxv guys honestly e e this is the market as it stands right now you know we're gonna go up, we're gonna go down. It's very volatile at this point. Now, if you wanna get in after regulation happens where the volatility is gone, then hey, do you. But this is where we're at right now. You know, you have to always do your research. You can't just hop and ape into stuff because somebody on Twitter or somebody on YouTube said, oh, it's gonna go to 100 bucks. Yeah, it will go to 100 bucks. But we're gonna have, you know, support and resistance to get there. And, and you have to understand that. And to add on to that $100 point, it's like, don't invest into it because you think it's going to go $100. That's the that's worst way to invest. Security. That's just that's just the way to invest after you like you should how you should look at it is oh, why is it going to 100 bucks? Exactly. Oh, and you learn about the technology. Okay, now I can see why it's going to 100 bucks. Oh, actually it can go to 200 bucks. It go to 300 bucks. And now you're saying that because you're basing it off of the supply, you're basing it off of the tokenomics. That's just how simple it is. But people do it backwards. They look at the price and then correlate to well, if it's if it, if it's at ten dollars now, will it hit hundred dollars in a year? And they're not even looking at the reasoning why, like the partnerships and everything. Like, but the reasoning why God. should allow for you not to freak out exactly. when this happens. Exactly. You, you know, fake. you know what Vector Space does, or you know, if you're if you watch this channel, you know what Vector Space does. We talk about it all the time. We you have know? everything you need to know about Vector Space in less than ten minutes. So. You know what it does. So this price shouldn't do anything for you. It should be like, oh, damn, $9? Let's do it. That should be your mentality. Not, damn, dog, it's at $9. It's a, it's a rug. I'm going, I'm getting out. I'm getting out, bro. What are you doing? What are you doing? You, you getting out? Oh, sh jo Joey's getting out had, too, dog. I'm getting, goal, out. I'm getting out. I had a goal of buying one vector space a day for some reason. I just wanted to do that for, for the next year. That's 365. Imagine just buying one for... Buying one a day to do like make ten dollars and buy one a day. You Whoop. could do it. <laughs> you could do Whoop. it. I mean, Whoop. while Whoop. it's not on an exchange, it, it might cost you a little bit. Yeah, but, but that's the thing. But uh, because I'm holding, you I'm, could do I'm it. Holding if you really a good want. amount. Like I think that wherever it hits a hundred dollars, I'll be really happy. Fifty dollars. I feel like a lot of people, a lot of people. Well, I'm not gonna say a lot. About but three dollars. But some people, some people have a, a decent enough bag to where once it hits a hundred dollars, they'll 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 amass a pretty good amount of wealth, and that's great. You know what I'm saying? That's that that's great for you. Um, Cardano uh, is, is sitting at two dollars twenty four uh, cents. Ethereum we spoke about trying to get to four K. CRO is trying to get to twenty. Might hit it today. We will know. Uh, this is the first time V Chain has uh, -chain. hasn't stayed. You know, doing that weekly schedule, you know what I'm saying? It's been moving up a little Remember bit. Remember when you thought I made fun of you when I was like, V-Chain? Yeah. V-Chain, you're like, sounds like you're making fun of me. I'm like, nah, I just, V-Chain's the only one that you could like do a chant a with. A chant with? Yeah. V-Chain. V can't do the XRP. Cardano. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't vector it, space. Yeah, it doesn't v have like, the same ring, v -chain I because it's two syllables. V-Chain. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Um, Alliance Block is going to get back to a dollar eventually. Um, it's been trading sideways uh, lately, but that you know that's good for uh, Alliance Block. So if you hey if you're in it, you want it, uh, let's go, let's go. it's a perfect opportunity to uh, accumulate it, not financial Alliance. advice. Um, XRP we talked about already. Uh, we see Quant's about to head up to three hundred dollars. It's the same uh, concept with uh, VXV. A lot of people are freaking out that Quant went under three hundred dollars because they look at Twitter and everyone's like, "Yep, you missed the boat. It's never going under three hundred dollars again." They don't know the future, guys. They don't know. And this is the proof of it. You know, you got to do your own research and understand what, what you're investing in, where you're putting your money. If you bought the top, okay, you bought the top. Dollar cost average down if you really believe in it. But if you don't, then you're going to get wrecked. That's just what it is. We're not going to sugarcoat it and tell you all oh, it's going to be okay. Da, da, da. You didn't do your research. You got wrecked. Your fault. Sorry. Not sorry. Uh, ZRX sitting at $1.02. Uh, XD XDC is sitting at 11 cents now. XDC is one that I'm going to be looking at. If we have like a, a like a, a crazy bear market and it's just, just like drops, I will buy some 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 uh, XDC. I'm just not going to buy it now, just because you know I feel like I don't I want it amass enough to even worry about. 
Um, XLM is doing pretty good as well, 6-7% on the week. Now, this is where all the, the dollar cost average uh, yeah, ones guys, are. Name them. You know, yeah. got Harmony One, Elrond, Engine, Algorand, Cosmos, Gala, still at $0.08. Cents. Ooh. Stacks is still above two dollars. Forty percent for the week, though. Yeah, it's up forty percent on the week. Bitcoin. But that's because of the you know Bitcoin mm-hmm. birds and things of that nature. But it hasn't dropped under two, so that's good. Um, Elf and we got H bar still consolidating. Flow still at seventeen dollars, like it was uh, the other day. LTX dollar twenty five VRA, um, and then DAG at the bottom. DAG is at out where I it. <laughs> yeah, cool. a lot of people bought uh, bought DAG uh, a little higher, but. You know that's good. You know if you wanna if you want a dollar cost average in the deck, you could totally do so. But guys, as you guys seen, that was the show. I know you guys have found so much value. There's literally so many gems in this episode that even the timestamps are not even gonna give it justice. I feel like if you use them, you're gonna lose out on a lot of information. Just that's just what I'm saying. My opinion. You know, I'm biased, but my opinion. What do you think, John? I think that this whoever made it this far to the end. You will make it. I know I'm gonna make it. I know I feel like you believe you'll make it. I know I'm gonna make it. I know <laughs> you have to have that belief. You gotta have the mentality. If you, you don't have it. that mentality, then what are you doing? You're just wasting your time. Facts. I will wake up to a million dollar portfolio. Yep. I will. Yep. Because of the work that I do and the, the research that I do, right? And then I know Mike probably feels the same way, but I just don't want to speak for him. But I know that whoever's watching this to the end and you're listening to this, you will too. Because most people aren't going to do what you just did. Just to sit through and watch an hour and a half or listen to an hour and a half of this type of conversation. And we're not bullshitting you. This is not just, we're not making a video that's, oh, Dogecoin's going to hit $100. Bitcoin's going to hit $100. And, and just bring up the news and talk about, I just hype you up, hype you up. Like, no, nah, we're just telling you, hey, this is, we're taking a look. We're just looking around the space and seeing things that are happening and saying, hey, this is what we think is going to happen. And we're moving in this direction. Coach JV does it the same way, and he says it. His videos don't blow up because he speaks facts, and not most people don't want to hear the facts. They want to hear the hype. Exactly. Most people want to hear the hype. They want Coach JV to make a video about XRP. The lawsuit's ending. Uh, the lawsuit's going to end. Uh, and they just talk about the lawsuit all day. Uh, and then we're crypto, right? Like, oh, Bitcoin's hitting 60,000. Bitcoin's hitting 60,000. But they don't tell you why. Okay, they mention why, but then they don't talk about, wow, what does this mean for the crypto space? Right. What is the what is the it's reasoning just, for? It's just hype. Yeah. What is the reasoning for Bitcoin hitting sixty thousand, and why is it important for the crypto space other than just Bitcoin hitting sixty thousand and going up to hundred thousand? What is the reasoning why that article, the ETF announcement, what is that doing for the rest of the crypto space? We don't just talk about just why Bitcoin's in sixty thousand. Oh, your alts gonna pump? Are your alts pumping right now? No, no. they're tanking. Opposite of what it's supposed to do. So but long term, long term is good. Bullish. You guys should be bullish anyway. If you're in crypto, you should be bullish, man. You know what I'm saying? There, there's there's so many ways, and I haven't even opened my mind to seeing all the ways you could really make money in crypto. Just buying and selling crypto is just only one way that you can make money in crypto. There's so many other ways. There's yield farming. There's staking. There's liquidity pools. There's um, borrowing. There's lending. There, dude, there's so many freaking ways, the bro. The biggest secret is the... Uh crypto back loan where the game is you you put your crypto in let's say you have 5000 XRP and the XRP hits $10 right that's 50 G's you put $50,000 into Nexo wallet Nexo wallet you load it up you can stake it and now you're getting free XRP which means more money or you can get rewards in any other type of crypto you want as you stake it so you oh, I want Ethereum or I want I want Solana or something or polka dot they just added polka dot you get paid in polka dot tokens or, or fractions of it or whatever as as you stake it right whatever the case may be and then on top of that, you load up to the crypto back loan. You have fifty thousand dollars worth of XRP. They'll give you twenty five thousand dollars instantly to borrow. And you know what you do with that twenty five thousand dollars? You either buy another crypto with it, and then double your money, pay back the loan, and now you just got free money. Or you start a company with that money that you you borrowed that you would have never. You would have went to the bank. They would have declined you. They, it, it, this is instant. This is all instant. Yep. People don't even realize how much money you can make from crypto, and that's all DeFi, and that's not going anywhere. It's just going to get regulated, but it's not going anywhere. Exactly. And and the, the money that you make from, like, if you take the crypto back loan, you don't have to pay taxes on that. That's not a taxable event. It's only a taxable event once you sell, you know? So it's it's so much, guys. And we're going to we're gonna break down all of it. You know what I'm saying? We're going to break down all of it in the coming weeks, months, years from now. We're going to break it down. And hopefully you're here on the ride. Hopefully 
we've convinced you to have an understanding and open your mind to the realities of where crypto is and where it's could potentially going. And the way you could do that is subscribe to the channel. If you want to be around like-minded people, follow us in the Discord. The link's always down there. The Discord is a beautiful place, man. We, it's amazing. We drop the news in there and everyone's like, oh, man. Like, there's a lot of good things when you're around people that think like you, believe in the same thing as you, and, and, and healthy debates. That's what it's all about. Because exactly. it will give you new perspectives. People from all around the world. We got someone from yesterday talking about Lebanon and um and um in Russia, Shashkovskia or something like that. Czechoslovakia. Yeah, and, and someone um there's another country, someone that was from and they're I like, oh, I'm from this country and you guys I want you guys, you guys are awesome. Like like there's so many people around the world that you don't even realize that have the same perspective as you. And then there's people that don't have the same perspective as you, and you could see their perspective. Exactly. And, you, and it, it amplifies your logic and your thinking of life and go, oh. And all it does is make you a better crypto investor. I mean, look at me and John. We don't get along all the time. You, the last episode, he was like, why, but why do you like Bitcoin so much? You know what I'm saying? We we had that I don't like it at a store value. You know? <laughs> and then at the end, he was like, going to a dollar. What, what did you say at the end? Albert, Albert's Al going to $20. $20. <laughs> but yeah, guys, honestly, bro, it's it's healthy to have these these conversations. That's why I feel like we have them. You know, it's it's very important for us, too. And we, we've built a community around having these conversations so if you want to have those tough conversations man let us know you know if you want to you want to end up being on the show and have these conversations with us then hey let us know follow us on twitter and instagram but twitter for sure you guys need to get on twitter we're gonna start tweeting a lot more i mean i tweet a lot from my personal and i, I think i know mike does too but i think we'll, we'll also start implementing a lot of tweets onto our twitter and that's like our thoughts you know right. motivation stuff like that instagram has all the motivation and news facts um but we really like twitter and then tiktok it's just it's just random news that we don't we, we don't mention it on the on the YouTube. It's just on it gets thrown on TikTok. Exactly. But either way, it's still valuable, right? Yeah. We're trying to bring value on top of value on top of value. That's all we are here is value and logical thinking. All I hope the last thing I'm gonna say. All I hope is that when you watch this podcast, whoever watches it or listens to it, listens to it, they say it and damn, I want more. Because I had that feeling when I watched like certain podcasts. Like Joe Rogan or John Campion show, shout out to them. Sometimes I'll be watching, and when it's over, I'm like, "Oh, it's over! Dang, I could have sat through another hour of that." I just hope that there's at least one person that feels that way, and I'll be so happy. <laughs> like I did my job, we did our job. Yeah. Yeah. Well, with that being said, guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Well, Monday. Yeah, we'll see you Monday. Happy weekend, yeah! All weekend to watch this. Take care, guys.